Minister. I represent the, the inventors of this equipment. This is a modular refinery. A modular refinery is a simplified refinery that requires significantly reduced capital investments. This particular modular refinery handles about 5,000 liters of crude per day. In other words, we refine 5,000 liters of crude per day with this particular equipment. We feed them in this column under the reboiler, under the reboiler here, we set this reboiler at 500 degrees C. So as the temperature is building up from room temperature, anything below 35 degrees C, the liquefied petroleum gas is vaporized. The various plates come out from the upper outlet and it's being condensed here. It's being condensed and then we collect as we refined petroleum gas from this outlet at about 35 to 150 degrees C PMS which we refer to as the premium motor spirit or the popularly known as petrol is vaporized from this same reboiler also it goes up and comes out from this place after being condensed in this particular condenser. And at about 150 to 250 degrees C, kerosene is vaporized. The kerosene comes out from here, it comes out as vapor. And when it gets here, it's being condensed and then collects it as liquid. At about 250 degrees C to 350 degrees C, diesel is vaporized. Also, move up and comes out as vapor from this outlet and you condense and collect it as liquid. At about above 350 degrees C, because we set the reboiler at 500 degrees C, above 350 degrees C, bitumen is vaporized. This bitumen vaporized comes out from here, you condense it and you collect it as liquid. Now, each of these products, because we need to to be sure of what we are collecting. Each of these products, as they are coming out, we send a sample to the laboratory. You analyze it and see if it falls within specification. If it falls with it, if it doesn't fall within specification as at the time of commencement, we recycle it. In other words, we channel it with the hose, send it back into the inlet. Where we feed the material here, it now returns back to the reboiler and the process continues like that. So while the process goes on, we continue to take sample. Immediately it falls within the range of specification, then we disconnect it from that inlet and begin to collect our samples out into the storage tank for use. Thank you very much, sir. Welcome.